Welcome to part four of Sacred Heart Football preseason pass, and this is the final edition, and we're talking about today about special teams and the quarterbacks, and I'm here with associate head coach Mark Nofrey. Coach, you handle the special teams, so let's get right into it. Uh, we'll talk about your punter first because he's a two-year returning starter, uh, Rob Shepard, and uh, give us a scouting report, how has camp gone for him, and what's the outlook for the season. Uh, so far, uh, our punter this year is going to be Bob Shepard. It's his job to lose. He was the starter of the last two years for us. He's done a nice job. And uh, this summer, he also worked on kicking off for us as well. And like I said, Bob's a redshirt junior, so he's got this year and next year to go. Uh, he's also a baseball player for us in the spring. But this summer, he worked on, uh, hard on the kickoff part of it. And uh, this year, like I said, he's, it's his job to lose. He's our punter right now and probably our kickoff guy. Behind him is uh, John Kelly, who's a redshirt sophomore who has two years of eligibility left. And then a freshman by the name of Jamie Ross, who's also a quarterback. Okay, coach, in the kicking game, uh, Jesper Fredrickson, who was a grad student, gave you a, a pretty good season last year. He handled the kickoffs as well as the place kicking duty. So as, as camp winds down, what's the kicking job, uh, the competition for the kicking job? How's that shaping up? Right now we have a three-way battle going. Uh, we really haven't solidified who our kicker's going to be yet. Uh, like I said, it's been a battle since day one between Jason Pleskow, who's a redshirt sophomore, uh, Chris Rogers, who's a true redshirt freshman for us, and a true freshman that's from Connecticut by the name of Connor Frizzell. Uh, those, ki those three kids right now are battling out for the kicking job in terms of extra points and field goals. Uh, right now I, I can't really say who in, who's in the lead, but I, I can tell you that there's a three-way battle going right now and it's going to go right down to the wire well that's all right because we still got to go but we're going to have to go to figure that out all right let's talk return game coach and, and you know you've got some players back this year who've had some experience uh and both punt returns and in kickoff gary coles being one greg moore uh take us through both uh first of all punt returners we have you know we can go probably three or four deep there you know we have ricky moore uh, Jojo Jamil, Gary Coles, Greg Moore, we have a freshman by the name of Dennis Regan. Those four guys are pretty much uh, our punt returners, and I could put any one of them back there and feel comfortable with it. Um, in terms of who's healthy and who's not at that point in the season, we'll see. Uh, kickoff return right now, it's pretty much going to be Gary, Greg Moore, uh, Stefan Thomas, a freshman, Ricky Moore, a redshirt freshman, and um, you know we also have another kid by the name of Sean Bell who's a freshman as well. So we could roll any one of the you know five guys I just named back there for kick returns, but probably our two would be Greg Moore and Gary Coles are our two returners from last year. Um, and then punt returners, like I said, it's probably going to be Gary Coles, Greg Moore, Joe Joe Jamil, one of those kids. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for a few minutes of your time today. And uh, as we gear up here at the end of training camp, heading towards next season, best of luck uh, heading into a new year. All right, thank you. All right, and we'll now go to Head Coach Paul Gorham as we talk about the ongoing quarterback battle here in training camp. Back on the final installment of Shoe Football Preseason Pass, and we've saved it for last, Coach. We're going to preview the quarterbacks. And um, before we talk about the, you know, the guys that are vying for that position, let's talk about maybe the philosophy or, or some of your thoughts heading into the season when you have a new quarterback uh, for the first time in four years. How does that affect uh, uh, you as a coach, I guess, maybe in the play calling or how you kind of ease that person into the, into the role, but at the same time you know, getting the offense started in, in, as you head right in game one? Uh, the, the fortunate thing for us here is, is both these kids, this is their third year in the system. Uh, both uh, Timothy and, and Luke have been here, um, you know, running second team for us the last couple of years. We alternated through um, with Dale all the way through. So they know the system pretty well. So there's, there's a little form of comfort there. But it's, it's certainly not, uh, you know, the fear of the unknown, not having been in a real game situation beforehand. Um, but we're going to run our offense. They're, they're both adept at it, and, and we're going to do what we do. Um, as I said to you earlier, if, if we could run the ball, uh, particularly early, to get them settled in and get them into a game and they can take a hit uh, and just get into a, a college football game and then find some easy throws for them early on, uh, then, then really after the first quarter, first half, um, let's go. Coach, let's talk about each each guy. Uh, let's talk about Luke uh, Wisnowski first. Uh, both well, both guys kind of split time in the spring game and 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 has been battling it out here in preseason. But talk about Luke. Uh, what could, what does he bring to the table? What kind of quarterback can he be? Uh, extremely bright. Uh, makes all a lot of good decisions. Uh, I think his arm strength's gotten uh, significantly better since his freshman year. He's worked at it in the weight room, uh, and and makes good decisions. That that's the biggest thing within our offense. Uh, there's a place to put the ball. Uh, and he makes a lot of good decisions and gets the balls to, to the right people. Um, I, I think the kids respond to him. He commands the huddle well. Uh, he does all those things, and, and um, I'm very comfortable with him 
uh, playing quarterback for us. And how about Tim? What is uh, how is he different? Are, are they similar in any ways? What does he bring to the table? Uh, Timothy uh, a little bit stronger, um, you know, a little bit taller as well. Throws a throws a very nice ball, maybe as good a ball as, as anybody since we've been here. Dale, uh, Tyler, all the kids we've had in the past, and and um, he's very talented that way. And he's he's he knows the system just as well. Uh, made a lot of great decisions himself, and uh, if if anything, his arm strength is maybe a little bit uh, greater than Luke's. But uh, that's not everything. Luke throws it on timing and gets the ball there. If you get it out on time, uh, you can make up for any any lack of arm strength. All right, so then I guess the question is, where where is the battle at? Where do these two guys stand? Uh, I know there's still some preseason left. I, I, you guys have a scrimmage uh, kind of, uh, scheduled. Uh, what's what's the plan? What could you tell Pioneer fans as as you head into Game One that how you might handle this situation? I, I honestly haven't made a decision right now. Um, we're going to play the scrimmage again tomorrow, uh, and and maybe someone will distinguish themselves. But both of them are playing very well. Uh, if someone came in and told me you have to play X, I would be very comfortable with that. Um, and, and I'm not trying to be coy. I, I really feel comfortable uh, with either one of them, both here in the meetings uh, when we meet and, and their knowledge of what's going on uh, and, and putting them out in the field. And I think the team feels the same way. Uh, so as I, as I said to you a week or so ago, I, I, feel, I feel good um, and confident that both of them can, can uh, drive the ball for us and score and, and uh, take over and, and do what we've done in the past. Is there any scenario where both might play at different points in a game, or is that something that you wouldn't want to really you maybe stay away from? Um, I, I wouldn't stay away from that necessarily. Uh, that doesn't. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. Uh, it's not like they're two uh, dramatically different quarterbacks. It's not one's his own read guy can run like crazy. Uh, they both throw and and they both fit what we do offensively. So um, you're getting much more of the same. Um, but I, I got to find out in, in a game situation if, if one of them handles it a little bit better. So uh, I, I'm not opposed to playing both, but I, I don't know as of right now if that's what I want to do. All right, Coach, let's talk about some of the other guys on the roster who maybe, not, maybe won't see some time on the field, but that you look to develop uh, in, in this program going forward. I know you brought a couple guys in with recruiting. Talk about some of the other quarterbacks on your roster. Uh, we brought in a couple of young kids this year. And, and well, first, we have a kid that's a, a redshirt freshman. Uh, Michael Leffelbein, that's a kid from Greenwich that was doing a nice job early on in camp and got an injury and set him back for the last week or so. Um, but but he's doing well there at the quarterback position. And then we got two young kids that we're probably going to end up redshirting in some fashion. Uh, one out of Nashua, New Hampshire, uh, Keith Farkas, and another kid out of Portland, Maine, uh, Jamie Ross, a uh, big, stronger kid, uh, probably 6'3", 6'3 200 plus pounds. Uh, strong arm. Both the kids got strong arms. Um, but it's going to take a while to, to learn the system and uh, and do all that other stuff. So we've got five kids there that uh, I think uh, two for sure and, and possibly three are capable uh, for this year and in the immediate future. Uh, and then those two other young kids down the road. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your uh, few minutes today and co- previewing those quarterbacks. We will catch up with you next week as we head into week one and we debut the Paul Gorham Coaches Show. So this has been Sacred Heart Football Preseason Pass.